If you are a Linux user, repository management is a must-know skill. In this video, I will explore the ins and outs of Debian repositories. First, what's a Debian repository? The Debian repository serves as a collection of software packages and metadata for Debian-based systems like Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and many more. Repositories are vital for installing software, distributing updates, applications, and libraries across Debian-based Linux distributions. Managing repositories is crucial for a few reasons. It ensures you have access to essential software, keeps your system up to date, lets you add new software sources, removes any unnecessary repositories, and provides you with control over package priorities. Moving on to the structure and components of the Debian repository. Debian has several releases, each named after characters from the Toy Story movie. So we have got Wheezy, Jesse, Stretch, and more. Releases are further categorized into suites, such as Stable, Old Stable, Testing, and Unstable. They are also categorized into Main, Contrib, Non-Free Components. Within the releases, you will find packages for various architectures. Whether you're on AMD64, i36, or S390X system, Debian has you covered. But it doesn't stop there. You'll also find source packages and architecture-independent packages. Now, how is this complex repository structured? Well, it all starts with the dist directory. It contains release and suite subdirectories, each holding digitally signed release files and components directories. These components have subdirectories for different architectures and packages files containing vital package metadata. And the actual software packages are stored in the pool directory. The pool is organized by component, subdirectories, and package names. The directories in pool might not have names that match the packages directly, but they represent the source of the packages. Multiple binary packages from one source share a pool subdirectory, and single letter subdirectories manage these entries. Besides, there are lift directories in the pool that contain multiple versions of packages. This allows one version to work across several Debian releases, making the entire ecosystem remarkably adaptable. Every Debian package complies with the Debian free software guidelines, guaranteeing user freedom to use and share packages along with their source code. The packages are grouped into different sections. The main section contains the official Debian distribution. It has packages that adhere to Debian free software guidelines and enjoys full support from the distribution. Secondly, there is a contrib section which encompasses packages relying on software from the main segment but potentially featuring more restrictive licenses. Next, in the non-free section, you will find packages that are not free. Lastly, the non-free firmware section consists of firmware files that are vital for hardware devices like network cards, wireless adapters, and graphic cards. These firmware packages may not qualify as free software according to DFSG, but they can be installed for specific hardware devices once these firmware repositories are activated. Managing repositories can be easily done with the APT package management tool. Let me show you a few techniques on how to perform different operations on repositories. You can display the main and additional repositories with the following syntax on the screen. To view the contents within a specific directory, simply mention the repository file name. You can even use the apt add repository command with the list option to reveal a comprehensive list. To add a new repository, you have two options. You can either manually edit the source.list file or use the apt add repository command with the URL at the end. You can utilize the apt add repository command again with the remove option to seamlessly delete repositories. To disable a repository, Open the etc slash apt slash sources dot list file in any text editor. Locate the line that corresponds to the repository and either deactivate it by placing a hash at the beginning of the line or deleting the line completely. 
Once you've made changes to your repository list, it is essential that your system is up to date with the recent modifications with the command sudo apt update. For faster downloads, consider using Debian Mirrors. These servers host copies of Debian's official repositories all around the world. The central server experiences heavy traffic during software downloads. To counter this, you can link to the nearest mirror based on your geographical location. This approach can speed up the software download process. The mirrored Debian package repositories are distributed worldwide. Proper Debian repository management is vital for maintaining a stable and up-to-date Linux system. Whether you're an experienced user or just starting with Debian-based Linux, knowing how to handle your repositories is a valuable skill. And if you want to learn more about Debian repository list, feel free to read the article in the video description.